that fz equal to r square cos 2 theta plus iota r square sin p theta is analytic function. So this function is expressed in polar coordinates and fz is given to be analytic function. We have to find out the value of p. So here we are going to use the Cauchy-Raman equations in polar coordinates and then getting the value of p. So let fz is equal to, we all know that this is u plus iota v. As fz is equal to this, then if you compare the real part, just put fz equal to u plus iota v over here. And when you compare the real parts and imaginary parts, you get the value of u as r square cos of 2 theta and the value of v as r square sine of p theta. And because we have to use the Cauchy-Raman equations in polar coordinates, so we have to find out these partial derivatives of u and v. So curly u over curly r, this is 2r cos of 2 theta. Curly u over curly theta is, this is r square sine of 2 theta with negative 2. And curly v over curly r is, 2r sine of p theta and curly v over curly theta is this is r square cos of p theta and with p multiplying with p right and now see our equations in polar form this is first is curly u over curly r is equal to 1 over r curly v over curly theta and Curly V over curly R is equal to negative of 1 over R curly U over curly theta. This is the second one. And just putting the values of all these partial derivatives, what is curly U over curly R? It is 2R cos 2 theta. So here it is 2R cos of 2 theta. This is equal to 1 over R and curly V over curly theta is p r square cos p theta and this one r is cancelled out with this and then we have this 2 r cos of 2 theta that is equal to p r cos of p theta right and then in the second one just putting the value of curly v over curly r we get 2 r sin p theta And this is equal to negative 1 over r curly u over curly theta. This is negative 2r square sine 2 theta. 2r square sine 2 theta. And this negative will be cancelled out with this. And this r will be go with this r. And then 2r will cancel out with this. So here I'm having sine of p theta is equal to sine of 2 theta. Right? And here, okay, if you compare these, if you compare this left hand side with the right hand side, you will notice that P is equal to 2. And here also, if you compare here also, I'm getting P to be equal to 2. So, which means both these equations are satisfied if P is equal to 2, right? So, hence the value of P is there is a note written over here for a fz to be analytic the first order partial derivatives of u and v must be continuous please consider this all right thank you